Hi YouTube. So I have got my um, underdog version 2 to show you today. Um, I was going to give it a little bit more time before I did a review on this but I've been using it so so much that I thought it was about time that we got on with it really. So um, let's just have a quick vape. What have I got in there? Quick vape and then we can go into some detail. Okay. Perfect. This is such a lovely mod. I'll also talk about the cap as well, but um, this is the Underdog version 2 from Cloud Chasing Club, so a UK uh, manufacturer. This is the Underdog version 1 and the version 2, and you can see that they are identical size in terms of height. What, what differs with this is that it is slightly wider. So it is a 25 millimeter uh, wide tube mod. Um, other than that, lots of similarity. Well, I say lots of similarities. There's the, the similarities are the button uh, with the original, but there the similarities really stop. So to me, this seems like a much better thought out device. I loved my version one and I still do, but this one just seems better in some ways. Um, it is made of naval brass. It comes with an optional um, silver silver plated spring or neodymium, neodymium magnets. Um, it comes in this rather fetching pot um, and I've actually got the spring fitted at the moment. So here's the magnets, just two same size opposing magnets. They're all serialized on the bottom. This is number 32, if you can see that. But same sort of button design and the switch design inside is exactly the same. So it's got, uh, that. that's probably my one complaint about it, but I'll go through that in a little bit. Let's have another quick vape. Um, I'm also gonna talk about the mini competition cap from Cloud Chasing Club as well, which I've got on top of this. So that again is Naval Brass. It has a um, goon style drip tip in the top and it is just a cap. So let me take you down close up and let's have a look at it properly. So bear with. Right, I will try and stop this from rocking as much as possible. But so, top to bottom, let's take the battery out. What we have is we have a hybrid 510 top cap, which unscrews from the um, atomizer and you can screw that directly on. It's got some venting cut out of the side, so you have a, a crossways, top, ooh, crossways top cap, and I will show you that. So that is your hybrid top cap. So this side goes up, so you've got some venting which directs your venting gases should you be unlucky enough to have a venting battery out of the sides. And then you can screw it on to your atomizer as such. That then screws in, and apologies, let me just get rid of some of this juice which is lying around. <clears throat> so there is your top cap. And then what you have is you have the tube. And you can see down the bottom there is a silver plate of contact. When I press that up, that will fire the device. Um, and it has Delrin self-adjusting, um, a self-adjusting gasket at the bottom, I believe. Um, and you basically to service the button, you have to get a, an 11 millimeter socket, put that in there, and then push it against and unscrew the button. To be honest, it's a pain, and that is, as I said, one of my only gripes with this. It's a pain in the ass to remove the button and to service it to clean your contact. You just have to push the button up like that, and get a screwdriver, uh, the socket set with the extender bar in there to unscrew it. It's fine; it doesn't matter, but um, it would be nice if that was an easier process. Um, in terms of the device itself. Is that going to focus? Let's see if we can get a bit closer. 
Mm. Possibly. There is the underdog logo there, which is kind of cool. And then we've got these venting holes around the bottom, almost reminiscent of maybe a, a Kennedy style roundhouse, I think. It's also sort of the opposite of your um, rogue venting. So the rogue obviously has the venting holes up at the top. This has got it at the bottom. Um, really nice threads there. Nice threads in the bottom. The, the button on this one doesn't want to back out as easily as the version one, which I like. Um, in terms of venting, you are spoilt for choice. So in terms of putting your battery in, I have been liking to put my battery facing down purely because I've got the venting out the sides there. I've got the venting there. So actually you can, you know, you're a bit safer. But in terms of the top, there's plenty of venting available on the top there. Cool. So we pop our battery in there and then we would screw our hybrid top cap in the top. We won't do that for a second. First, before we have another vape, let's just have a quick look. Sorry, we're rocking all over the place. Let's have a quick look at the competition cap. So here it is. It's really nice. It's really simple. It's got lovely wide open airflow. So you've got two airflow holes. They're quite large. And you've got this knurling around the outside as well. Inside, nothing um nothing sort of world shattering but it's a, a nice um nice clean inner of the uh of the cap and then what you've got is you've got at the top you've got a a, a rubber o-ring there or a gasket at the top um that allows you to keep your drip tip in however the drip tip isn't the firmest it's not the firmest fit but it is a uh, half inch so it should fit all of your goon style drip tips um let's just try one so there's a funky goon style drip tip and there we go fits in nicely but i quite like the black one um yeah now put a bit more light on the scene yeah, so it's a nice solid top cap. It's 24 millimeters at the base, but the knurling raises it up slightly. So I think the knurling might add sort of half a millimeter on. So it actually feels like it is a decent size for this um, this tube mod. Um, I have had real problems finding a deck to fit this and I went back and forth back and forth with all sorts of things I tried um, various bits and pieces I tried some clone um, comp life decks um, and they didn't seem to to want to work very well so short of me getting the actual bespoke um, cloud chasing club um, deck I thought I'd just use this old um, deck that I had so this is from the support the Watofo support um, and you know it's a cheap cheap dripper but it's perfectly good it's a nice four post rda um, and i thought well let's let's try out some of my old ones and it seems to fit absolutely fine so what we do is we screw our hybrid top cap down so we've got a connection pop that on top give it a bit of a tighten and there you go I've been enjoying the spring a little bit more than the magnets, um, actually, and I, th I don't really know why that, that that is. I've not noticed any difference in terms of how hard it hits. I think really, for me, the difference is the throw. So the throw seems to be shorter and firmer on the spring. That's focusing now. Yeah. So all in all, rather lovely really nice solid meaty tube puts me in mind a bit of the you know the rig version one the original one nice big heavy um brass mod um but yeah it's it's lovely so look let's have a little vape and uh, wrap this up so yeah there it is um the um underdog version two and the cloud chasing the mini comp cap and i couldn't be happier with it um, 
It hits like a train. It's really nice and heavy, really meaty in terms of the weight to it. Um, and I am looking forward to getting a different, well, I will get a different top cap, something with um, maybe 25 millimeter diameter RDA. But yeah, it's um, it's cracking. I've really, really been enjoying it. I've been, I haven't been able to put it down for the last couple of days. And I suppose the best thing about this is the price point. So the original Underdog version one was about seventy pounds. This comes in at fifty-five quid. Fifty-five quid, which is, as far as I'm concerned, is an absolute steal. It hits just as well as my Able, um, and it's versatile, so you can change out your springs for, for magnets, you can do whatever you like from that perspective. This is getting a little bit of a patina on. Um, I haven't cleaned the button at all, but the um, the mod I've cleaned once, um, but once it's clean, it's absolutely beautiful, so shiny. No battery rattle at all. Nothing to complain about there. Um, as I said, the only complaint that I have is the uh, button is relatively diff. Well, it's it's not something that you can just disassemble really quickly without any other tools. Um, but yeah, all in all, a really really nice device. In terms of how it looks with. Any other devices on top, any other atomizers, for example. I've got a nice um, brass goon there. Um, and that also looks really nice on there, I think. Um, although it is oh, 24 millimeters again. I'll stick this on the able for a moment. And actually, that looks pretty cool as well. I'm really impressed with the um, the deck on the support actually, um, really nice and easy to build on. I've got some chaos wire in there, so some um, 21 gauge, no it's the ISA chaos, gate, uh, chaos wire, so the increased surface area wire, there we go, it's quite rogue-esque in terms of the way that his profile looks actually, in fact maybe that was what they were going for. Um, I've got some lovely fuse claptons, some mad rabbit fuse claptons in there. Ooh, not sure what I've got or not. Let's have some kicks. This is quite a nice juice actually. This is an apple sour uh, fat boy sting from kicks. I got this at uh, the expo actually and I just found it in a pocket. So there we go. Let's pop you on there. That's a bit more of a rowdy build, actually. No hot button. Um, the mod doesn't heat up at all. It doesn't give me any, any issues from that perspective. Actually, I might keep this goon on here for a little while. But yeah, really, really tough with this. Cracking little mod. Well, big mod actually, um, and excellent price point when you compare it to the price of the likes of something like this. You know, you, you start to question where your money goes. Um, but yeah, really, really happy. I've said that too many times now, so thank you very much for watching. Really glad you uh, you stopped by to have a look, and I will see you again soon.